Welcome back to Cryptos R Us. I am George. We are all George. We are all one. Morning, everyone. I'm Crypto Man Ran. I'm not George. Sometimes I think I'm George because, you know, I listen to George, and every time I listen to George, he tells me, We are all George. And if we are all George, then I must be George. On a more serious note, the market is looking a little bit better today. Uh, in fact, let's take a look at what the market's looking like. Bitcoin held that 50,000 quite well. Uh, in fact, I think it's going to recover very strongly. And the reason why I said that is if you didn't watch our show yesterday, go listen to our show yesterday about the futures close out and the max pain theory and how Wall Street is coming in. Um, is coming in. Um, so, yeah, go listen to that. Hold on. It sounds like I have an echo. Let me see if I can get rid of this echo for you guys. Okay, it shouldn't be echoing. Let me try that again. Let me try that again. I shouldn't have an echo. Okay, no, it, sh it should be fine, I think. All right, so let's go into it. Um, if you watched our show yesterday, you would have seen that I called the futures closeout. Uh, and the futures closeout, I said, would look something like this. And this is exactly what's happening. You can see this chart of all the futures closeouts. All the futures closeouts look exactly like that. Um, yeah, so look, look at the futures closeouts. You can see that with every with every closeout, you get that loop. Um, and this one was actually no different. And so I'm expecting a massive, massive, massive short squeeze. Uh, expecting the sellers who try to keep the prices down, uh, expecting those prices to, to expecting them to be very short, and therefore expecting the mother, mother, mother of all short squeezes. So, if you're new to the channel, welcome back. Welcome. If you've been here for a while, welcome back. Remember that you need to like and subscribe and hit the bell button and share. You need to do that as soon as possible. And the reason is because every time you do that, not only do you share our content with the rest of YouTube and YouTube has been banning content. In fact, yesterday they banned one of our shows um, because the algorithm just doesn't get what you're saying. And so it thinks it's inappropriate content. So what you need to do, smash the like, smash the subscribe, smash that bell. And the reason why you need to do it is because if you do, you automatically get entered into the biggest competition ever run on YouTube and ever run on um, on uh, on uh, on YouTube and on in crypto, and that is what I call the banter bags competition. So the banter bags competition works something like this: every time you like, subscribe, share, hit the bell button, you get two entries for every share, or join our Telegram group. You get an entry into the banter bags competition. When you get an entry into the banter bags competition you are going to be in line to win some of the banter bags. Three lucky winners will win the banter bags. What are the banter bags? Well, we're getting pre-market allocation, stuff that you can't really get on your own. And we're putting it into these bags. And we've got amazing, amazing pre-market uh, allocations ready. We got you an unmarshal pre-market allocation of $1,000. We got you one of AOS. We got you one of Split. Now, Split's going to do 200x. So that thousand dollars is going to become two hundred thousand dollars mark my words mark my words so you want to win this simple smash the like smash the subscribe smash the share let's quickly take a, a check on how we're doing we have 800 of you in the waiting room and we have 500 likes not bad guys not bad but let's smash this and let's break 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 this algorithm cool let's get on the show because our sniper uh, has some amazing amazing picks today he said he needs to come on he needs to come on early in the morning so i've got the sniper back sheldon how are you Mark? awesome good morning uh, sheldon, the echo the echo the echo i'm not sure if everyone can hear it big I echo it's, i think it's only you and i think you need to go to your settings at the bottom where it says time and mic and make sure you're in and out as this one big echo i think it's only you and i think you need to I think it's echoing. Is, is anybody else hearing the echo when I take Sheldon off the stream? So now Sheldon's off the stream. If anybody is hearing an echo, let me know. Any echo? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. At the same time, we are going to try and get Sheldon and his screen back on. That's Sheldon's is screen. Echo? Let me know. Any echo? Sheldon, we're getting the echo on your side, man. No. Maybe just check your inputs. Screen back on. That's Sheldon's screen. Alrighty, while he's doing that, remember, guys, yeah, go click on audio, um, go to microphone and speakers. You see where it says defaults? Yeah, just make sure that your speakers are your headphone. Alrighty, while he's doing that, remember, guys, yeah, go to the one underneath, go to the one underneath. 
go to microphone and speakers. You see where it says default? Yeah, just make sure that your speakers are your headphone. Right. While he's doing that, remember, guys, yeah, go to the one underneath. Go to the one underneath. There we go. Okay, All cool. Right. Can you hear me clear? We can hear you loud and clear. My friend, the sniper, what are we looking awesome. at? Awesome. Good morning. Sorry, guys, that echo was crazy. It was difficult to focus. Okay. First of all, Sheldon, what do you think about my theory yesterday of, the, of this futures closeout, the maximum pain theory, and the fact that every time we have a futures closeout, it actually it's starting to develop a pattern. So look at this pattern that I picked up this morning from Twitter. That is every time a futures closeout happens. Exactly the same thing. And so we can see that Wall Street's coming in and trying to inflict maximum pain on the retail investor. 100%. So, 100%. so we're at crucial stage. Uh, and that's why, for, for my opinion, buying the dip was important, knowing where to exit and knowing where the opportunities are afterwards. Uh, if we got to get back in a later stage, then that's what we do. But we need to attempt in the market to make the money, uh, which is important. And obviously, just knowing where we're, where, where, if we don't hold these levels, where we're getting back in. Remember, it's not a loss in the market if you get stopped out and you buy back for cheaper and you make more coins for the money that you had previously. So, so let's do this. We have to try to win as long as you know. You know, people that are panicking right now, and I'm sure there's a lot of panic yesterday with the coins. At, uh, firstly, like you said, it's either too much invested or you don't have a game plan. You've got no game plan. I don't worry. I don't stress. Because if I don't hold this level, I know I'm buying for cheaper. And if we don't hold the next level, I know I'm buying for cheaper. So if you've got a game plan, there's no reason to stress. So, so I think that's important. And, and we're going to get that into everyone as we progress with this, uh, this channel and as we progress with these calls every day. You will see how we handle these situations. Okay, let's go, Mr. Sniper. They're saying the sniper is ready to take aim and fire, my friend. So what are we looking at first? Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, Ren, I'm going to do very quick updates, guys. I'm not going to do, I, I did bigger ones yesterday, just very quick ones to just calm so you guys could all sort of, could have seen what, what happened. So we had an Aon call. So the Aon, remember, Bitcoin had a retrace. Aon's come down to our buy zone and I'm expecting the strong now, basically I'm expecting us to make a flag in the zone. Once we get the break out of that resistance, there's all time high. And we still have our main targets for those zones over there. So we are still looking very healthy. We're looking strong. Um, you know, it's a mid, uh, it's a sort of short term bounce for nine Bitcoin. It might come close to the levels we were at yesterday. Remember, after a dump, as I explained previously, we have this bit of sideways movement. It doesn't just bounce back, but at least the altcoins react strong to this. So as long as Bitcoin is holding these levels, we are going to soon know is it. Are we coming back down or are we going to have the strong break to the upward side? So at least we have some time now to give this. So if Aon, what I'm basically expecting, just to be quick on it, is a shoot up to come down to the zone again and a break out of the flag. So that is what I'm expecting. But anytime we break that resistance, same targets, guys. So Aon, I'm very happy with what has happened there. And we have survived uh, a good zone. We just came and tested support, which is good. Quick one on Pundi. So Pundi is one that's been holding strong for us. It's been doing very well. Uh, I think still from that nice wick in our zone the other day, we're still 16% up, which is good. Now, the only difference over here now is I do have a short-term support in play, which is that one over there. So if Pundi breaks this little one here, I expect it to come here and to keep playing this line to our zone i think this is going to be the coin that's going to hit our sell zone first definitely uh it's looking really really strong so we are still currently sitting with pundi guys this is not an entry now remember you need to enter in my zones don't enter late up like this you've missed this one now you're going to jump onto my next one it's about minimal risk so if you got the buy zone you're holding strong and I'm still looking at a solid 38 percent to at least 50 percent coming from this and hopefully it's by the weekend and by Monday, we can be celebrating nice and strong. Stop loss at entry, guys. Stop loss at entry. So just to protect yourselves. Front quick updates. We're getting very close to the breakouts. So that's good. So if we can have the eight-hour close of this resistance. We're on our way to our big sell zone. So be patient with this one, guys. Remember what I said? It is accumulating in the zone. 
So this is where we should be building up our positions. And obviously the close of the eight hour break there is strong for us to say we need to be in now and it's gonna get that strong push up to that sell zone. So that's looking super good. Rev guys, excited, excited. So Rev, all that I did yesterday was drop straight into our bar zone. And what's nice is I drew a short term sort of trend and we broke out of that beautifully. And now we're going for all time high again. We're attempting here again. When we break through this and Bitcoin, the reason why we have just had the choppiness is this Bitcoin, guys. Bitcoin going up, Bitcoin going down. You know, it's been a difficult market with Bitcoin the last few days. So that's why the coin wants to go. It's just Bitcoin. They're just making sure that there's confidence in Bitcoin. So when we break this now and Bitcoin holds for the day, Rev, very, very strong to the sell zone all the way to the, what is it, 67 to the 80 cents region. So Rev is looking beautiful right now. And I hope you guys all got your entries in the buy zone. Remember, buy the buy zones, guys. Don't just buy anywhere, buy the buy zones. Now, I'm just working down the list. There is a few other updates. So yesterday, what did we give? We gave one wink. Look at the bar, guys. Beautiful. We popped into the buy zone last night. We, 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 we sat, we held there for a bit. We held there for a bit. And look at the breakout here now, guys. Strong push. Now, all that I'm waiting for, the strong break of this resistance and the eight hour close, we well on our way to our first target, guys. So for now, we're really looking really good. Even if you entered higher in the zones, you know, we're already 8% up on win for the day so far. And we are only just getting started. If I look at Stochastic, this thing has only just left the floor. We got some good room to go. And I saw the dailies on the floor as well. So we are possibly sitting on beautiful entries uh, as long as obviously yesterday was the bounce um and obviously guys you remember under the zone so i would say just for support areas is basically i will highlight that for you guys just to make it a bit bigger so you can then just see it over there uh there we go so i've put this this figure in yeah i'll zoom in there quickly so you can hopefully see it that one over there is definitely support. So stop loss is under that zone for now. Uh, and when we break this resistance, put your stop loss at your entry. So we are protected. Okay, jumping to, to lit, guys. Look there. Look at our buy zone. Beautiful. Pop in the buy zone. We have shot out. I just want the close of the short-term trend over here on the eight hour. And obviously fighting for that higher high. Otherwise... The worst thing, guys, if we don't get the high eye right now, is coming back to the zone for a bit and then a push up. I'm very happy with the zone that we have and where we've pushed. Remember, all these trades that I gave you guys was higher time frame. So I saw there was some panic yesterday, especially with VTHO and TVK. Guys, look at them today. Remember, this is higher time frame. You need to understand that all of the analysis was given higher time frame. So, so let's them give them some time. When you say higher time frame, what is the higher time frame? Eight hour daily. That was where everything was charted. That's so, right. so you need to just be a little bit patient. Yeah, everyone wants it in one or two days, guys. Remember, this was given over a two week, three week, four week, a six week hold on some of them. So, so we got to be patient to get the maximum gains because everything, because we bounced in big support areas on high time frame, and that's always the safest trades to taking. That's not short one hour trades. These are. Are, are, are higher time frame strategically placed trades it's not just anywhere in the market so lit is looking really good guys you know this even for our short-term target yeah in, the guys are asking if you can make the screen bigger because they're struggling to see the numbers and the words i know that you can zoom in uh, maybe if you can even zoom in on your browser so uh, just they're struggling to see the words there we go yeah we go is that, that is bigger there guys there we go so my first sell zone 10 point uh 2.9 to 11.1. That's first sell zone for now, guys. This is considering that Bitcoin doesn't get the higher high just yet. So I, I think this will only play out by Monday. We will already know. We'll already be more or less in this sort of area. And then we can decide, are we holding this for the longer run? Or let's take out 20, 30%. So for now, it was about banking that entry. So, so let's let's make sure we got that entry. Uh, don't buy now. You need it only if it comes in the buy zone, get back in. Uh, but I hope you guys did get the entries in that zone now. I do have two new fresh trades for those who don't have a trade or haven't gotten it just yet. VTHO, guys, this is the one I saw a little bit of panic. Don't panic, guys. This is higher time frame 
trades and we just needed to be patient and look at the beautiful bounce on support. So we came a little bit down. Guys, look how we're back there. You know, a little push now from this. We are back from any. So anyone that even entered a little bit higher, we're back. So, so, so don't stress so much. This is higher time frame. So what I just want to see from VTHO is just the break of resistance. We break this resistance, guys. We are going and we're going to go very, very quickly. So VTHO is healthy and our ultimate goal is still 3.8 to 4.7 cents for VTHO. So, so I'm still very happy with VTHO and I'm happy with where we bounce. So that is looking really good. TVK, also the other one with a little bit of stress and worry. Guys, look at this. If I zoom out here quickly, here's my eight hour. Where did we bounce? Right at the bottom of my original buy zone. Remember, we thought the breakout was happening, but Bitcoin came down. And I said, if Bitcoin comes down, we're going to come down to the original buy zone. But that's where we bounced. There's support, guys. There's support perfectly at that zone there. It's a RS flip, resistance into support. There's the flip. Now, the break from this is where we're really going to get the strong acceleration up. So TVK, beautiful entries. If we come back, get back in that zone, which is basically 61 to 70 cents. Uh, but just give it a bit of time, guys. We are buying in good high time frame uh, sort of uh, areas. Cool, guys. Now, to excite you now quick. The two new trades that I've given you guys today is one's good fundamental trades, uh, ones that ran have also big words about, um, and ones that are really, really good, uh, is Uni is the first one, guys. So Uni, what I'm looking at, we are currently at the top of the bar zone. Um, we haven't really retraced much from this big wave we just had. So it's possible a little push up back to a test of this and to go. So it might come a test of zone again uh, at these zones. So what I'm looking at for uni is the bottom of my bar zone for uni is basically between 24 and 24.5. I would say is definitely my sort of zones. This should actually be a little bit higher. We don't want to come into the break of that. So let me just move that. Okay, cool. So 25 to 27.2 is definitely my bar zone on the eight hour for, for, for uni. And this little leg, I see us, especially Bitcoin, can get that push and go attempt that high again. I see us getting to at least 42 to 47. So we are bullish here and we have big bullish divergence on the higher time frame. So that's good. Uh, so this is a nice area that we might sit here for, for a day or two. So maybe by tomorrow, Sunday, we should get the strong break uh, or it can break at any point. So just make sure you are securing entries in the zone. Uh, and remember the main support, uh, let me just get it in there. The main support I would say is basically 23.8 is the main support. So stop losses under that zone, protect yourself. And we will obviously then have an update on Monday or where we're looking. That's just to protect in case something bad happens in the market. You are just protected because if we get stopped out there, we're buying uni back at 21, 18 in that sort of region. So exactly. we are looking good. Make sure you get it. Love this because the fundamentals have aligned here. You know, with Uniswap V3 coming up and all the gas fee savings and the, the, the increased efficiency in liquidity. For me, Uniswap, if you can get into Shelter's entries, get it because he says the target is 42 bucks. From a fundamental point of view, I think that the, the target is exactly that 42 bucks. So it looks like a great one. Look at this it's 26% down from its last high. Guys, I don't know about you, but if you go to a shop or you walk in the mall and you see 26% off an item, are you not happy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Fundamentally, we know this coin is going to be massive. It's going to be huge. So I th kind of think of this as specials, definitely. So 26% of uni at the moment, guys. And the last one I want to jump on here quickly is Koti. So Koti is one, is that I'm also expecting it to just come back into our bar zone. So I have basically, let me zoom in here for everyone. So we can see, uh, and let's make this nice and big for everyone so you can see. So I'm looking at Koti, basically 0 0.37 to 0 0.417 is where I'm looking for the zone because I'm expecting it to have another short term little push back into our bar zone and then the break of this high time flag. Remember the importance of a flag, guys, catching the breakout. So we want to make sure by the time we have, uh, let's just make it a bit bigger for everyone. When we come back to this bar zone again, make sure you're getting in here because by the time we break that resistance, this is where I see Koti going. So I see Koti going on this next push to 73 to 81 cents is where I see Koti going from here. 
this coin is only just getting going so this one is looking really good and fundamentals ran i'm not sure if you want to add in there your excitement for koti uh but same thing with koti if we go have a look here quick from the bounce even to where we are now and to where i see us coming down to it's 28 to 30 percent off it's another massive special and the fundamentals are huge guys so just a quick reminder 0 0.37 to 0 0.417 is my buy zone and my emergency buy is the break of that resistance if that automatic this just shoots and it goes quickly and it breaks through that that means guys it's not coming down to buy zone anymore get in because now you're going to miss the buy on this coin as well so I, so sheldon i want to show the guys on Koti. guys i told you this if you agree with this thesis on Koti that, that Koti is going to fly, and I think it is going to fly, remember, we think that Koti is listing is listing on Huobi. And the token that's listing on Huobi is going to be the native token, so not the ERC20 token. If you look at CoinGecko and you look at all the markets where Koti is trading, you can see that on all the markets it's trading at about 46 or 47 cents. But if you scroll down to KuCoin over here, you can see that on KuCoin it's trading at 39 cents. And that's because KuCoin is trading the native token. In other words, not the ERC20 token. What does that mean? It means that if you buy the token now on KuCoin and Koti breaks into the zone that Sheldon's talking about, then you will make an extra seven cents a token. So an extra 10 or 15% or 20% if you buy the KuCoin token and, and if you believe my thesis. So guys, if you're going to do that trade, go and buy it on KuCoin because you're going to make much more money than everybody else all right children one last one let's look at bitcoin bitcoin buddy just to see where, where we came from bitcoin so bitcoin guys what was the buy zone 50 to 52 where do we bounce perfectly right now in that zone so for now it is a perfect bounce and it's all that it is a flip from support uh from resistance into support that's good so all that i want to see from the weekend guys if we don't catch up on the weekend is i need this to make its way up it might come down a little bit again and break that resistance and we need to get that higher high guys we can get that higher high and the higher time frame uh what's it resistance break now we know it's the reversal so for now we got the spot on buy we've got the great area of bounce we just need the higher high now we got to get that higher high in the next few days uh, at least by, by monday tuesday by then we have to get that higher high to know we're going to continue otherwise i can just come back to the buy zone again and I'll say still 50, 50 K, uh, 50,000 is still my support for, for Bitcoin. So even with alts guys, you know what alts react to whatever Bitcoin is doing. So as much as we have stop losses for the alts as well, my main stop loss is Bitcoin. And what I mean by that is 50 K is my sort of region because that's my main trend support at the moment. So if I see Bitcoin's dropping 50 K is when I'm going to, instead of waiting to get stopped out on the alts i'd rather start lessening my position on the alts and start shortening and that just to protect myself i can always buy back in so remember bitcoin is king and we need to make sure that that's your actual stop loss is bitcoin healthy if bitcoin's healthy your alts are going to do good if it's not healthy we need to just make sure the risk is minimal and that we know an exit plan in case something does not go right uh, and that's where these trends and that help a lot awesome ran i hope that helps everyone so yes, I think that we saw the worst of Bitcoin unless something else happens over the weekend or from today. But the futures close out is in about seven or eight hours, maybe even nine hours today. So before our next show, the futures close out is happening. And since Bitcoin managed to keep the 50,000 level, the short sellers are in trouble. There's a, there's gonna, I'm going to show a chart of the open shorts on the show later. And you'll see the open shorts are now at an all-time high, which means the short sellers who try to manipulate the price down to, to, to take the, the weekends out the market the retail hands out the market they are now starting to burn and because they're starting to burn they're going to have to cover and that's why i think we're going to get the run of our lives in the next four days now awesome and look at you guys the stochastic daily is right at the bottom and we are just cross exciting part is the weekly is at the bottom as well guys i i think we've, we've caught bitcoin at the bottom for now i really have and i think we've caught all these alts at the bottom so i'm very excited and I'll be able to update on Monday. Great. Sheldon, I'll see you on Monday, awesome, my friend. Guys. Or maybe have a good not, one, everyone. Maybe we'll do a stream on the weekend. So, guys, if you, you haven't hit that bell button, hit that bell a, button. A, a cheeky little short one we can do. <laughs> uh, maybe Definitely. we'll do a short one on the weekend. All righty, guys. So, that is the end of the show for now. Remember, 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 huge, huge, huge show today. 
Friday banter with Charles Hoskinson later on today. Uh, and Coach K, Charles Hoskinson, Coach K, Child, Kyle Chassie, Sheldon Evans, and the whole gang. So I'll see you again at 10 a.m. EST right here. Until then, my friends, if you're trading, trade well. Crypto Banter is a social podcast for entertainment purposes only. All opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, and callers should not be construed as financial advice. Views expressed by guests and hosts do not reflect the views of the station.